Hey and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to have a walkthrough on how to produce a general arrangement drawing known as a GA or a GAD for a given set of architectural drawing. So it's going to be uh, a series of tutorial. We are going to we'll start from uh, the general arrangement drawing. From there we we'll move to the modeling, then to the analysis design and finally the detailing so if you don't want to miss any part of this tutorial kindly subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when i drop uh, the new set of videos i have this piece of architectural drawing that was sent by a client for me to produce a complete structural drawing so what i will do is i will use this for a tutorial and i will drop a link to this very file should in case you want to practice with uh, the same plan so i will drop a link in the description you can go to the drive and download the same architectural drawing we have the ground floor here we have the first floor it's just a one story um, structure then these are our elevations our sections and the roof plan so the first thing i would like us to do is to study this architectural drawing studying this architectural drawing you observe that uh, firstly this is actually a mirror drawing by that i mean it's actually or you can say is a twin drawing by that i mean what is on the left hand side is same thing as what is on the right hand side and let's look at that for the ground floor so let's look at the first floor as well if there are changes if you look at the first floor you also observe that is a twin drawing what is here is same thing that is replicated here that aside let's uh, so that is to tell us that if we make um a general arrangement for this left hand side we can as well copy that to the right hand side which makes our job easier so now let's look at the elevations if you look at this elevation right you observe that uh, there is a cantilever at this point this is to tell us that there is an increment in size when we move from the ground floor to the first floor and the cantilever is a width or a length of 600 whichever the case may be which is same thing as this other view then let's take a look at this view we don't have any cantilever at this view same thing it has same dimension from ground floor to the first floor so with that understanding let's begin to create our general arrangement drawing the first thing i would like to do is to create a copy of this architectural drawing by using the copy command i'll copy this upward now why i'm copying is so that i will always make reference to the original drawing which are these two and i will not and by that i will not be able to tamper with the dimensions so i want to see the wall lines in these drawings only now this will help me to ascertain where i'm to impute my columns and the positions where i'm going to run my beams by that, I will have to take out all the dimensions on this drawing. Now, let's not forget that in case there is a mistake, we have our original drawing over here. So we can always make reference to this. I will proceed to removing all the um, dimensions on this drawing. So I will use a tool called the quick select tool. Let me select on this drawing first of all and come down to boom. If I look at the layer right here, I will, you will agree with me that these dimensions are on layer DIM2. So I will select both joints. Right click on my mouse, come to the quick select tool. Then I will look for the layer called DIM2. I will select layer DIM2 and click OK. So you observe that all the dimensions or all the um, all the parameters on layer dim2 has been selected so i will launch my erase command and now I have successfully taken out all the dimensions on this drawing like i said earlier we always have our dimensions over here to make reference to so the next thing to clean up this drawing is i will also love to remove the text on this drawing and these texts are on the text with a z layer so i will select both drawings use the quick select tool come down to the text layer with a z which is this 
and uh, hit the erase button my drawing is still not very clear as uh, i want them to be so i would also love to take out these windows and the doors using the same command so let me select let me look these on windows Now we have just our wall lines on this drawing. Now if you observe, I did not touch uh, the grid lines. These are what we call the grid lines. I didn't touch these grid lines. Reason being that I want to use these same grid lines on my structural drawing. So they can always relate the architectural drawing to the set of structural drawings. Let grid 1 on the structural drawing be the same as the grid 1 on the architectural drawing. So let me take out these section lines. So now we have just uh, our wall lines. So next thing I would like to do is um, to ascertain the positions where I will insert my columns to carry the structure. Now I have some rules I like to follow when I'm uh, making drawings like this. Now firstly, uh, it is always advisable to keep our columns, our structural columns in between walls and at the edges. Now what this does is that in the case of construction, the block lines or the block walls will help to cover those columns. So there is no need for me to put a column at the center of this building. It is better I put a column at this point or maybe at this point. So in the terms of construction, they can always cover this column up with this block wall and it's not visible. So firstly, I will move by the edges. I will use a circle to uh, indicate the points where I want to put my uh, structural columns so i will put this color of this circle as blue now the, i would like to put the first column at this edge i would also like to put a column at this edge and um, remember we said that this is a twin drawing so whatever we produce here is same thing that will be replicated at this end so i will only like to work with this part so i will also put a column at this edge so after putting um the columns at these four edges i would love to run a beam across this point from grid line a to grid line four so what i will do is i will let my wall lines represent my beams so i will take out all of this and i will join these two lines together and let me trim this out using the trim command so if you observe you will see that this pan is too long for us to have just one beam yeah this is about uh, 8.9 meters so i would like to Put a column at this point as well so let me put a column here so now i have a column at this point at on line one on grid line two and on grid line four so let's do the same thing for this down part i would like to take out all these lines then i extend my new beam lines to this point then I divide them by putting a column at this center point. So now I have three columns here. I have three columns here. So the next thing I would love to do is uh, I would also like to run a beam across this point, right? But we'll have to figure out where we'll put a column on this grid line. So we have to be technical about this. If we have to be technical about this, because I also have to choose the beam lines as I'm working with the column points. Um, next point um i would like to put a column is 
at the center of this stair hall at the center of this um this staircase rather so i'll put uh, a circle here to indicate that a column is coming at that position let's recall that uh, when it comes to beam connections we can either have a beam on beam connection or we can either have uh, a beam on column connection so as for this case this beam right here will be a beam on column connection because we have column at this point and column at this point and we have a beam uh, running in between them so this beam will serve as a beam on column column connections so um let's go to this um uh, part right here i would love to run a beam all through this area so what i'll do is i'll take out all the lines in between and i will join these two lines together So the next position is um, I would love to put a column at this point so I can run a beam straight through and this point as well so I will, can run a, this beam straight from this point to this edge so I will take out this I will take out this as well then I will extend this To this point so i have a panel here and i have another panel here this part i will now have a beam on beam connection at this edge why or this edge is going to be a beam on the column connection you can choose to consider this place as one panel i can also choose to consider this place as another panel but for us not to have a long spanning beams i would still love to divide this place up so what i will do is i will put a column at this point then let me take this out then extend my column to here so now i have a panel here i have another panel here and let me join both lines together and the last point i would like to put a column is at this very point here so i would have i would love to leave this at uh, this number of panels i have panel one panel two panel three panel four and panel five so let me take out the lines that uh, i don't need so i have one two three four and five panels now let us come to an understanding that my general arrangement drawing might not for the same structure might not be the same as yours it does not mean that um yours is wrong it's just uh, for us to uh what is important in structural design and anal analysis is for us to arrive at a safe and suitable structure that is quite economical as well so someone else can choose to run a beam can choose to put a column here column here then run a beam from this point but i do not want this beam to be showing block wall will not be constructed at this point so that is why i did not run a beam on this point to be showing so with this being done let me copy this drawing upward to create another copy of this and i would like to take out this entire part the next thing is i want to insert my columns my appropriate columns so what we'll do is i will have to create a layer for our columns right so i'll come to a layer property manager here yeah? and i will check if i have a col a, a, a layer that is called column at any point so let me go down to c there is no column layer here so what I will do is uh, I will create a new layer and I will call the layer column. Then uh, I will put the column um, color as a yellow color so that I can differentiate it from others. So why I'm creating uh, a different layer is that uh, 
if I have to export this to Plotter Structure because we are going to model this structure with a software called Plotter Structure. Plotter Structure and Orion they have um, same working principle. When we get uh, to the software, we can tell the software to read everything on the column layer as columns. We will get a clear understanding on that uh, when we get to the modeling stage. Let me set the column layer as current. I'll set it as current. And I would like to make more changes to that column layer. Let me put uh, the line width as, let me say, 35. I would like to reduce the line size so that it does not interfere with our column layer. As you can see, this is under layer mouse. And uh, I will select everything here. Under layer mass. Okay, all the block walls are selected. And I will come down to this place and I will put it at uh, 0 0.09. So the reason why I'm making these changes is that uh, the size of the lines here does not interfere with the size of. So we can easily differentiate our column sizes from that of the block walls. So I will draw my columns. I want to use a 230 by 230 column or 225 by 225, which translate to which translate to a nine inches. So I will launch my rectangle command and type the distance, the size of the column 230 by 230. Then I would like to hatch this. Let me put this on layer zero. So let me copy this column that I've created to the appropriate position, which we have selected earlier. So what I will do is I will select from the center and I will place it from the center point of this grid, the intersecting grid. I choose here as another position. Then So with this being done, right, next thing I would love to do is I would love to take out um, the circles which I used earlier to indicate my column point. So what I will do here, I will go to quick select. This time, I don't need to use the layer. I can use a different tool. Instead of using layer, I will come to color and I will select blue. So every blue items on the selected area will be highlighted now i can hit my erase and remove all the circles on the selected area so what i would like to do right now is mirror this drawing to this very point so i will select all this and i will use the mirror tool i'll mirror from the midpoint of these two lines So now we have successfully created the GA or the ground floor of um, this structure. So next in line is um, how to create the GA for the first floor, which is this. If you if you um, started with, if you go back to the beginning, you remember I told you that uh, the general arrangement for this, uh, for the ground floor and the first floor might be similar, but will not be the same. Reason being that there is a cantilever at this point so that will reflect on our general arrangement for the first floor so after the first floor we'll move to the general arrangement of the roof floor so thank you for following up to this point and if this video has been helpful to you please do where to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so uh, you can get notified when we upload new videos thank you